global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. The Bwahaha going on in River State is really escalating from just, you know, confrontation with words to action. Now, a few days ago, uh, the Governor of the state, Sim Fubara, reported a case of someone trying to dynamize a presidential hotel, life, which was the particular hotel that best. members of the Senate Committee on Privatization launched. And according to him, it was a way of sending signals out that truly there is need for an emergency rule. But now, the person who was behind this act has been unveiled, and a lot of, a lot of uh, finger pointing is taking place right now. The state government has finally released a statement in respect to that particular I've been talking about the River State governor. Now, according to the news, Governor Sim Fubara, late government of River State, has disclosed the details of the suspected individual responsible for the explosion that happened in Portacot last Tuesday. In a press release on Thursday, the state government named the individual as Josiah Priye. The River State government noted that the individual is a degree holder and is resident in Portacot, the capital of the state. The press release signed by Nelson Chukudi. The chief press secretary to Governor Simfubara asserted that the individual is a follower of the minister of the federal capital territory, Yesom Wike. Furthermore, it was revealed that the individual participated in a demonstration on Tuesday in solidarity with the minister. According to the press secretary of the state, Josiah Priye was part of the protest on Monday, day one of the protest, and on day two, he is seen in this video carrying an improvised explosive device with specific instruction on how to use where and when to detonate the device he is one among others in the crowd paid by the sponsors of the evil protest to cause anarchy and chaos in the state with the major aim of justifying their call for a state of emergency in river state so so that they can usurp power from the back door since they know that river people have rejected them in their various position they he further stated that on Tuesday, June 25, 2024, ardent loyalists of the former governor of River State and the Federal Capital Territory Minister Yeson Wiki entered the two of their so called pro police protests to press home a smoke screen of the veil narrative that they support the Nigerian police force decision to barricade and deny staff and officials of the DTR of government in the 23 local government area access to their offices to perform their constitutional duties and advance democracy in the state and country. The narrative was anchored on the agitation for tenure elongation by six months for the former elected local government chairman and councillors whose statutory three years term had expired at midnight of June 17, 2024 and therefore constitutionally barred from continuing to serve in that capacity except their mandates are renewed through a fresh election and are sworn in again after taking a new oath of office administered by appropriate judicial officer. But for a group which claimed that they were on the side of the law and embarked on peaceful protests in support of law enforcement agents to hire, empower and embolden talks, suicide bombers, cultists, anarchists and all manner of criminals does not add up. This is Josiah Priye hired together with other talks Cultists, anarchists, and violent extremists, all sponsored by the likes of former Speaker, State House of Assembly, Martin Amawale, member representing Obiokbo Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives, Kingsley Chen, the former Obiokbo Local Government Council Chairman, Barrister George Ariolu, Chief of Staff to FCT Minister Chidi Amadi, President General of GDI, Brian Amawale, Timothy Alia, General Wuski, among others, who are all core unrepented loyalists. Of Yesom Wike. Josiah Priye was part of the protest on Monday, day one of the protest, and on day two, he is seen in this video carrying improvised explosive device with specific instruction on how to use, where, and when to detonate the device. He is one among others in the crowd paid by the sponsors of the evil protest to cause anarchy and chaos in the state with the major aim of justifying their call for a state of emergency in River State so that they can usurp power from the back door since they know the rivers people have rejected them in their various positions. Again, the applaud was to create pandemonium with explosive device while they marched the street to the demand for tenor elongation for local government chairman who had served 
how their statutory three years tenure. They choose near Hotel Presidential on the very busy Port Harcourt Bar Expressway, where some senators and House of Rep committee members on oversight function in the state were lodging to detonate the device, but it failed. Neves is rather caught up with Josiah Priye, and the explosive device caused several harms and injury to the hunter Josiah Priye. The hunter is now the hunted. Josiah Priye is now battling with Kama, and the god who sees the heart of the wicked and unleashes vengeance against their evil plot is fighting for the innocent and real law-abiding law citizen and liberated resident of the state. They are planning to get reasons to support their call for a state of emergency and scuttle the god of the administration currently providing good governance and dividend of democracy to the people of the state failed woefully. And by the special grace of God, they will continue to fail and falter. Security agencies should act now and bring all those involved in the failed bombing in Port Harcourt to justice. Josiah Priye is a graduate of Imo State University where he works at Sky Parking Material, Trade LLC, and lives in Port Harcourt. Those were the details of uh, what actually, um, even after the state government have given such huge information about Josiah Priye, the security agencies uh, should jump into investigating how true all of these allegations is because it's already in their hand. APC and supporters of Wiki have also come out to say that what we are seeing is uh, it was orchestrated by the government of Sim Fubara. So everyone seems to be throwing tantrums, everybody seems to be throwing blame at each other. This one say you are behind it, this one say you are behind it. But I think that the only way to salvage the situation right now is for the federal government, for the sorry security agencies to walk into the case and give Nigerians a full detail of what happened. Though I know that at a time like this, so many calls will be coming in based on who, you know, this Josiah Priye was actually working for. But in a Senate clip, everything about this individual should be exposed. And uh, uh, Sinful Barra's government have been able to pinpoint the guy's presence during the protest. They've been able to figure out that he was, you know, behind, he was working alongside with them. But however, it's for the security agency to prove. They have a way of investigating issues like this and they will come up with something very tangible uh, for Nigerians to know. And it's, it's good for the president also hearing these kind of you know, news to wad into this case because uh, these issues and problem and crisis in River State, uh, if it is not being control it might escalate to what may likely lead to loss of lives not just one person because after a while it, it will not just be speech based again we'll start seeing action invitation of anarchists and uh, all manner of cultists will come that time will come and if we keep quiet and keep allowing those in power to keep weaponizing poverty and uh, using young people to fight you know and and and, and frustrate democracy then we are up for something unthinkable the future will be so bleak for river state and whoever that is fighting all of this i think they should come down so that rivers people should enjoy river state is not the property of sinful barra it's not the property of wiki neither those uh, the chairman they are not important as far as nigerians are concerned they are one in a billion they are just not important right now the what is most paramount is the lives of the people and the lives of the people matter more than any other person so whoever that is behind all this activity, they should be brought to book. The government should do their own work, knowing that no single individual deserves the blood of any Nigerian. No matter how highly placed you are, the same life you have is the same life any other person is having. And for that reason, you don't have that exclusive right to bring tears to the eyes of Nigeria. I'd like to leave it there. Let's, let's meet in our comments. Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news.